Public transportation in Kaido. Does it exist? And is it any good? So I'm putting the hanging church in. I'll be showing you where you can go with the train, how much it costs, and give you a look inside the train as well. Yalla! for over two and a half years and today I'm going to be showing you Kaido's underground metro system, the subway. So I'm here in Tahrir Square in downtown Cairo, about to head to Coptic Cairo where you can see ancient sites like the Babylon Fortress, the Hanging Church, the Coptic Museum and other notable sites. Right now I'm just outside Sadat Station about to head down and hop on the train. Um, I'm going to be wearing my GoPro so that you can get a first person view of the subway. Um, I might have to cover it up a little bit because there is security in the entrance of the train. But other than that, I will be filming, hopefully unobstructed. So without further ado, yalla. I just walked down the stairs and passed security, but didn't film that. <laughs> So I'm putting the hanging church in as my destination. There's another exit. So I can take the M1 to head one. Margerges. Margerges. The camp? Okay, six pounds. Got this ticket. I need to go to Helwan, which is straight ahead.
While we ride the train to Coptic Cairo, let me explain a little more about the Cairo metro system. Riding the metro is safe and easy to use. The cost of a ticket will depend on how many stations or stops you pass to reach your destination. One to nine stations costs six Egyptian pounds. 10 to 16 costs eight Egyptian pounds. 17 to 23 costs 12 Egyptian pounds. And 24 to 39 costs 15 Egyptian pounds. The Cairo Metro currently has three functioning lines, with another two lines being built, but still under construction and not currently operational. Different maps online show different colors for the lines, but the numbers are what is important here, and those remain the same regardless of color. The three existing and functioning lines are Line 1, which is currently the train we are on now, heading into Coptic Cairo. If you rode this train from the first station to the last station, it would take one and a half hours to complete the route. I am riding the train from Sadat Station in downtown to Margirgis to reach Coptic Cairo, which only takes about 15 minutes. Line 2 is a train that runs parallel to the Nile in Cairo before crossing the river and heading down into Giza. This train would also take around one and a half hours to complete the route, if you were to ride it from start to finish. And the final operational line is Line 3. Line 3 is the newest of the three metro lines, with the majority of its stations laying on the eastern side of the Nile in Cairo. If you rode this train from start to finish, it would take around one hour. This is also the train which you can take to connect to the LRT, Cairo's new light rail transit system. The LRT is Egypt's first light, high-speed train and runs off electricity. You are able to connect from Line 3 to the LRT if you are interested in visiting Egypt's new administrative capital, though it is still under construction at the moment. However, once complete, it seems the new administrative capital will be an upscale and affluent district where the seat of Egypt's government will run the country. I've recently made a video about the new administrative capital. If you're interested in seeing that, I will leave a link up here. Egypt is also building two new monorails, one of which will service Cairo and connect from Line 3 on the east side of the Nile and extend all the way to the new administrative capital and the other will service the west side of the Nile in Giza and reach the 6th of October city. Completion dates are yet to be determined for these two new monorails. For visitors to the country, I must admit, the current existing metro lines do not reach many places that might be on a tourist's itinerary hit list. The metro lines do not yet reach the Pyramids of Giza, the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, Cairo Citadel, or the famous Khama Khalili markets. However, Egypt has been working on building a new line for the underground, Line 4, which will change the current situation. Although currently not complete and operational, Line 4 is under construction and, once finished, will have a station in Old Cairo and make stops in or near the Pyramids of Giza, the Grand Egyptian Museum, Cairo Citadel, and Al-Azhar Park. Line 4 is planned to run from al Haram district, where the pyramids are, to the new Cairo district, connecting Greater Cairo from west to east. Longer term plans include a Line 5 and 6, but until things move further along with the current operations of Line 4 and the monorails, I think that topic can wait. Something to note, the metro in Cairo is not handicap friendly and I have never seen an elevator on the streets connecting to the trains below. If you want to ride the Cairo Metro, you will need to be able to take the stairs to do so. Future plans may exist to build elevators in certain stations in the future, but as of now, there are none that I know of. The underground metro operates daily from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m., except during Ramadan, when it operates from 5 a.m. to 2 a.m. And we 
have arrived to Coptic Cairo. I'm outside the hanging church. Right behind me we have the metro, so it is just a few steps away from the entrance of the metro to hanging church here. If you walk down further that way, you will see the other notable sites like the Babylon Fortress and the Coptic Museum. Stay tuned for what's coming next because I will be making videos soon about different taxi apps in Egypt as well as the microbus, which is the most common and local way to get around in Egypt. So please give this a big thumbs up if you found it informative. Stay tuned for what's coming next, subscribe for more, and I will catch you on the next one. Ma